Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Dawn here. So today I'm with you with a magazine. So this is Craft Beautiful um, and it is issue number 360, July 2021. Um, and it has just popped through the door. So, oh, there's puzzles. Um, <laughs> I, I don't normally see them. Um, anyway, I know there's puzzles in them all the time, but yeah. Anyway, ignore me. Oh, isn't that wouldn't it be lovely to have something like that i'd have it as an extra craft room <laughs> don't think my husband would want an extra craft room but i think uh, i think we could all use an extra craft room okay so let's have a look at what's in here so we've got um a little bit of the editor and then we have um our sort of index uh, letting us know what is in this issue so I'm going to do my usual we're just going to grab a few a bit so um, it's got something uh, about the free um, gift on how you can do it uh, or give you inspiration and ideas on what to do um, just going to like I say keep flipping through um, not really going to sort of um, pay much attention on because I think if you're going to buy this then you're going to want to actually look through the magazine yourself. So I don't want to sort of spoil it for you. But I think sometimes it is nice, isn't it, to get a little bit of an idea of what's in the issue. So I like these cards. These are nice. Oh, I've got hiccups. I just hate hiccups. So I do apologise. Oh, I love them. Oh, isn't that just so cute? Lady would look awesome with one of them. Um, but my sewing machine is actually up in the loft. Oh, look, you could actually win that dream box. So I might have to look at that and see about entering. Not that I've got anywhere to put it, like, but, you know. Um, so that is that. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to get next issues um, at all. Um, and it is... Oh, that's the one that you buy so what's next next issue is actually a tatted lace die set that you're going to get free um so it's of a b and it's also of like this a floral element so that's next issue which is really really nice actually um but yeah i'm not sure if i'm going to actually get it um because i've decided to go back to my good old faithfuls um so yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, because I I have to decide. So I think I've I've resubscribed to uh, Creative Stamping. I love that magazine, and I stopped getting it for a while. But um, actually, I am missing it. So um, I'm gonna get that. And um, I think I'm getting Simply Cards and Paper Craft and Paper Craft Essentials. They are the ones that I seem to always go to. And then I think with this one, um, I'm gonna end my subscription and just grab it as and when I see it in the shops, uh, um, depending on what the gift is. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, but I, I mean, as much as I love it, I'm yeah. I want to go back to my other ones and I just can't afford all of them so but there was a couple of um special offers on so uh, I took advantage right let's have a look at the gift okay so um the free gift this month oh it's not free um we are paying for it but the gift this month is this um embossing folder of some um roses and this gorgeous stamp set which is actually really really beautiful and we've got the roses and other things now i'm not a big embossing folder fan because and it's more because i haven't got a clue how to use it in my um in my die cutting machine so i'm going to give it a go um i've got some card bases here so if i oh lord that doesn't quite fit on there um what happens if right what if we put that in there like that so it will go through but that's fine right i'm gonna try it so i haven't got a clue what plates i'm meant to use these plates actually i'm using are from my old spellbinders machine so that's probably why i'm not very good but then i struggled with the gemini plates as well so let's see if this will take it I always think it, something's going to happen. I don't, I don't know. I just, I'm not a big embossed and folder fan. <laughs> See, in fact, it didn't even feel like anything happened. 
No, nothing happens. So we need a bigger plate, don't we? Um, should I put my shim in? So let me just grab. So my shim, I very rarely use it. <laughs> it's got ink all over it. Um, so if I do that side, actually we'll do that, that, and then that, and then I'm not going to get any ink on it. So let's try with the shim. I'll see there. I don't like it. It just feels like it's just going to go bang. I really don't like using embossing folder. There, see? Every time. So I know that I'm doing something wrong, but I, I, like I said, I had the same issues when using. I see that was just a little bit too much, but that's actually really, really pretty. Um, I had the same issues when I was using just the plates from, um, oh, from Gemini. They just, yeah, I couldn't get it right. I tried every combination. I tried to do what they told me to, and I just, I don't like it. That seems to be actually the combination that was working quite nicely. So we have just embossed it. So what I'm going to do, so in here I've got, these. Are, this is all like my papers that I get from, that I've got from, um, oh what's it called, a uh, scroller box. Um, so I'm wanting, I'm just having a look, I want some watercolour paper. Um, actually I think I'm going to use this one um, because I think I'm going to do just a little bit of watercolour um, colouring today. Just do like a nice a simple card. So let's put that back in there. Um, and um, do I want to do a big panel? Because I do have some big cards here. Um, so these measure, uh, they are eight and one eighth by uh, five and three quarters so that's the size of this card so if I well actually yeah I'm going to just use this whole thing and then I'll decide what we're going to do with that in a moment because I have no idea um, but yeah I think I'm going to play around even more with my die cut machine but I know I'm not the only person that has trouble with the Gemini and certain and using your, your different plates and and other bits so I already know that um, I'm definitely not the the only one with that now I'm loving this big one um, but we're going to have to build a mask because I think I want to mask this up so let me grab my um my stamping platform okay um and what i'm gonna have to do oh stay in there please we don't want you to come out uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just pop that in there and we're gonna use um my archival ink because it is waterproof um actually am i uh, no i'm not i'm gonna use my stays on um, where's my stays on my inker? This seems to dry out super, super quick. Um, so I don't know whether it's the design of the pad or whatever, but um, I was using it the other day. And yeah, it just, oh, that smells lovely. It smells of marzipan. I love it. I love the smell. Right, so I'm just going to pop that on there and just tip it upside down while I get everything ready. So what I'm going to do is I want to I want this to be in the center. So just like that. Um move these in so that yeah. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to ink this up. Um because we are just going to watercolor this um up. I've got uh, a little tool somewhere um, which I need to I, I was using it the other day actually and it was really really good so this seems to be um, not very even but yeah where is it um, I basically stole <laughs> from my mum the lid off one of her jars um, instead of buying one and I was going to decorate it up I haven't got a clue where I put it and it is oh do you know it's lovely to use right I'm loving that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out and I need to make a mask so I'm just going to grab um, let's have a look have I got some yeah he's just an old envelope from Lucy's school 
so I'm just going to use this as a mask so um, just actually I should really use a post-it note shouldn't I but so I'm just going to ink that up and we're just it doesn't have to be stamped perfect <coughs> okay so then what I'm going to do um because I'm going to build up our piece so we're going to do like a panel um but we're going to we need to create masks for it and then um, I'm going to come in and we're going to watercolor it um so I'm just going to go around and the, I, this envelope actually is really good because it is quite thin and you don't want your masks to be um, really thick uh, because otherwise you get sort of um, a gap between each of your images so um, which was why I sort of went rooting for something really thin um, I could just turn around me and get some <laughs> so I could yeah I could turn around me and get some um, copy of paper out of my drawer but that's too much effort too much effort right so I'll do all of it with you on camera um, just so that you can see me build it up but I think um, this is a good sort of um, like I want to say skill but I don't know if skill is the right word but it's definitely something well worth having in like you know in your your skill set of doing stuff like this because they you're able to build scenes and do all sorts just by um, creating masks for your work. So now I did get some glue gifted to me off our lovely Denise. Um, some Tumbo one that is either um, permanent or like you can reuse it. So I need to get that out and we'll have a go at that as well. So I've never had a go at that yet. Um, because I haven't created any masks for a while so um, so it does take a bit of, it does take a while because obviously we are fussy cutting out our images but I really want to make a nice sort of panel up of the flowers because um, I, I just think it will be really really nice so and once you've got a couple of masks done you can just move those masks around um, around your piece um, where you're stamping so so you're not going to need a mask for every single piece so that's just going to sit on there let me just put this on there because I, I have a feeling I'm going to end up um, yeah putting it all over me so let's read this how to use it so for removable bond moderately applied glue allow to completely dry position paper and remove and rep reposition as needed so that's how we're going to use it so i made sure not to use this um so that oh that is so cool so i'm just gonna we have to allow that to dry completely so i'm just gonna um spread it around okay there we go right now let's wait for that to, to dry and then what I think I'm going to do is I think we should make the rest the rest of the masks. So I need to be careful because on this envelope it's um, our address. So let's see if I can take that off without yeah without any issues. Um, right, okay. I'm just going to rip this down, move this out of the way. Um, and then what I'm going to do, let's have a look, see what else I would like to use. So I think I definitely want to use this little one and I want to use these ones as well. So I'm thinking that we can definitely make a couple of masks out of those. Let's move that one. Okay. And I'm going to just grab my ink. Um, and just leave that to completely dry. I don't know how long it takes to completely dry. Does it say? Uh, um, no. Just that it dries clear. So I don't know. So this is going to be trial and error for us. Right. 
and again this does not have to be perfect at all because it is um <clears throat> they are just our masks oh. however we do need them to actually have the the outline on so nowhere to cut oh that is terrible right let me just fold that over in case it's that that's causing it oh where's my little tool because it really did make a difference um right who is that <laughs> yeah right i'm gonna have to put so it's like this isn't sort of um what's oh, a word it's not um, all even. I hate it when stamp sets do that. And it's not even. Oh, look at that. It's moved. Well, that was clever, wasn't it, Dawn? Okay. I suppose if we get the gist of it. No, we can't use that, can we? Let's turn that round. Um, I can use that little one. This has just gone from bad to us. This is why you should put your stamps in the corner um, of your piece because then when you come to, like if you need to move it, actually, do you know what? I think there's enough. There's enough ink on that to get an impression. Uh, yeah, no, oh, whatever doing this completely wrong please do not follow my lead at all because this is just terrible 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 right okay I think I'm going to give up on my stamping platform I've decided right and then let's stick that down yeah I feel like that's off oh, see we need to give up on the stamping platform so let's move that to one side I think the cheaper the um, the stamps are, the worse they are to use on using the stamp platforms. But yeah, all the really good quality ones. So I know like Julia's stamps, um, she gets photopolymer. Um, the red rubber stamps and grey rubber stamps, they work brilliantly on the stamp and platform. But I have found that uh, stamps should get free with magazines because the quality is not there. Um, I find it really difficult in my stamping platform, but yeah, if you get an acrylic block, um, they it works brilliantly. So and that's uh, just what I have found. Okay, so we've got that, and then I'm going to do the same. Um, is pop some glue on the back of here, and we're only going to put a little bit because we don't need a lot of it, like so. And again, we need to wait for that to dry. And then let's cut this one out. And then hopefully from there we can build up our piece. Um, hopefully. Now, this isn't getting fussy cut properly um, at all. Actually, I'm being quite... Um, yeah, I'm not being very straight at all. Um, yeah, these bits that, like the, you know, the vine bits I'm not even going to bother cutting them out because um, yeah they're too small and tiny and I don't, they'd end up just tearing off anyway so we'll just we'll just cut around right okay so I hope you're not bored yet <laughs> oh dear yeah so this my stamping hasn't gone well um, so far um, yeah we've had fun well had fun trying to emboss and I, I do you know what I can see you guys though shouting at me saying you need to use this plate you need to use that plate um I can I, I can just uh, tell um and you are completely right um I like I say it, it me and embossing do not mix at all I've tried so much so hard that we just yeah we don't I'm going to keep trying because I um, after my de-stash I did keep uh, a few of the embossing folders um, and I uh, that I loved because I'm not I'm not just going to give up um, we are going to do it so right okay so that is a complete well I'm assuming it's dry let's stick that on there and then <clears throat> what I'm wanting yeah 
So this is where we're going to now build up our piece and make it. So I want, I don't want like the full thing. Is that? So please work. So I'm going to sort of stick that there. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay, because I just want the roses and those um, little bits that come out. I don't want much else really. Um, so just there. So I think actually, I don't know if I'm going to end up using the little one. Although I might, I might use that little one in the corner. And if that's the case, I'm going to need two of these as, um, yeah. Okay, and then, okay, just there like that. Oh, I like so that's what we've got so far. So let's just remove this. That should be easy to remove, and it is. Oh, look at that. How gorgeous is that? Isn't that just absolutely stunning? Right. Um, so I need to pop that on. Is that gone there? Yep. Um, oh, that's the leaf off there. So I do need to keep this on. Okay, so that goes on there. Okay, and then that needs to just go on that bit like so. So this is where your masks really do come in handy. Um, definitely. Right, I'm just going to pop that on there. And then... I'm thinking, put one there, I like that, and then have one, just be careful not to go over this one, there, um, okay, let's grab these. Doesn't that look fab? That just looks amazing. Oh, I'm, do you know, I'm so chuffed with this. So I'm going to pop that on there and then we're going to grab this little one. And this one is just going to go over here because what I think I want, I want, um, let's just pop that there a second. Um, is I want another one of these roses in that little area here like so okay so I'm going to keep taking these up because I just want to see how we are going um, in between I mean isn't that just looking absolutely stunning and if you think when um, by the time we've finished and we've put all of our colour on it's just going to look absolutely beautiful it really really is Oh, I, I love it. I absolutely love it. Right, I want in that there. Yeah, I do. I could do with another. Um, what do you call it? Another um, mask. So again, it does not have to be perfect at all. So um, I know that I only want the end bits. Um, so let's get these cut out because those um, viney bits we really can't do anything about them they're just too yeah what do you call it too thin I don't think they would make much of a difference okay nearly there this is really really rough um, what do you call it fussy cutting mind you I can be quite quick at fussy cutting I know Julia keeps uh, hiring me out <laughs> to people to do their fussy cutting which I think is rather funny right okay so let's pop a little bit of glue on here so I need to wait for that to dry and I think because I'm putting a really thin layer on um, it should dry quite quickly hopefully Right, we do have this bit though here, so I want to fill in this gap. Um, 
can one yeah let's do it with another rose so just like that oh, I didn't quite go to plan but um, yeah I'm not even going to attempt that but that's fine um, okay yeah I just want one more there I think and then once I've got that one in there I think we'll be done so that feels like it's, it's dry okay so I'm just going to pop my mask on so just like that and then let's grab this little rose again and we're just going to pop it just there and really push down you give time for that ink to take and there we have it so let's take all of our masks off and I will keep those masks so we'll keep them for another day oh how gorgeous is that right I love that okay so let me just move all of these because we don't need these now okay so put that away um, and then what I think I'm going to do so let me move this as well right we're going to keep those so I need like um, you know like a bit of plastic or something I've got this um, in which to just Put, pop these on like that just so they don't sort of stick to each other and then I'll pop them in with the stamp so they are ready to use for another day so it just goes to show how um, you know uh, masking can just build up a really really nice piece so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab some watercolour pens so in front of me I just have some really cheap ones um, from these are from uh, b and um, and you get 12 for £6 and they even come in a little case. So I'm just going to use them but I'm going to pop the colours on, down on my mat. They're very pigmented and for £6 I think they're an absolute bargain. As a, as a pen themselves they're horrible. Um, I will um, admit to that they are absolutely awful but as a watercolour the pigment in them is lovely um, and I'm really enjoying using them at the minute as well so right okay so what I'm going to do is we're just going to I'm going to put some water on my leaves and we're just I'm going to go in and we're just going to start building that colour up um, and in now the good thing about watercolour and in is that we can uh, we don't have to be precise um, which I just think is a fabulous so we can have it as rough as we want and then it just looks as though it was meant to be like that so yeah oh, how god oh, this is just gonna look gorgeous I think we're gonna have to do pink <laughs> for the flowers maybe pink or red um, or both we could have both really couldn't we we don't have to just have have the one okay so um just want to bring some of this gorgeous bright green in as well oh i like these so like i said i mean the pigment on these pens are fab so definitely definitely if you're looking for a really cheap watercolor um, pen these are definitely the right place to sort of go um, I mean I've got a couple of cheap sets actually and I've found that the cheap sets are really really good quite, like really good and very pigmented um, and you always find they're not very good as a pen to colour in either I mean look at oh, how gorgeous is that do you know what I, I think this is going to be turn out really really nice so I'm just going to go around and we're going to fill in where I can see any greenery. Um, there is quite a bit so I know that I'm going to end up missing some. Um, it's just, yeah, it's just going to happen isn't it. Um, there's a bit, there's some there. But yeah, there's quite a lot of greenery in here so it's... I think if I didn't miss any I'd be worried so it's just 
and even like the vines and making sure that we've got like the vines and stuff have got um, a colour on them as well. Now what I'm doing is um, I'm just, I mean you can see there's no technique here. Um, I'm not, I'm not a watercolour artist at all. Um, but I do enjoy using them and you can see I'm just dabbing the colours on and I'm going in for different colours and adding them in. I'm not really doing it in any particular order. I mean it's so easy. Um, anybody could do this honestly um, and I highly suggest you give it a go because it just yeah, feels amazing to do something like this with watercolours especially when you're not a watercolour artist or and you don't really know how how it works um yeah I'm an absolute beginner when it comes to watercolors but I enjoy using them so um just because I don't know how to do it properly doesn't mean that I can't use them right I'm loving that I'm loving how it's looking and I think I want to say I've got all the leaves um however um, if we haven't then we haven't right I'm just going to add some more of this darker shade in so by adding the couple of different shades in of the um, of the greens we're giving it like different tones so um, yeah oh, I love it absolutely love it right what colours are we going to use? I think, oh, we have rose red. So I think we definitely need to add some rose red. So let's pop some of that down. And I'm thinking, what about rose pink as well? So we have rose pink. Um, I think that's it actually. I think we'll just use those two. So we'll start off with the darker shade. So let's get some of that on our brush. And then I'm just going to go in around just where all the, the lines are. I'm not being too um, precise, as you can tell. I am just popping the colour on, um, like so. So just like that. And then I'm going to come in with the lighter colour. And then I'm just going to add that in around our piece and that should come together quite nicely yeah I like that I'm just going to bring and then we can just bring in some more of that darker shade where we feel it needs to be oh, that is gorgeous yeah so just in there oh I like that okay I really like that. Do you feel like I want a bit of a darker colour? So I'm just going to come in with this one actually. This is, um, what's this one? This is old red. So I'm just going to come in and just go along the lines and then just blend it out with my brush. Uh, just because I feel like I want a little bit more depth to my piece. So where all of the the petals sort of joined together and coming in with this colour and then just blending it out nicely um, with my my paintbrush and that will give us um, more depth to our our rose and it just blends lovely as well so the other thing I like about these pens is I can use them over the top of water quite easily um, they're not very good on non-watercolour cardstock, so if you try them on non-watercolour, um, yeah, they're, they're not very good, but um, on watercolour cardstock, they're lovely. Okay, so we're just going to add these in. Um, so I'm going to bring, I knew I'd missed a leaf, there's a leaf just there. I just knew it had happened, so... Just gonna sort of drag it around. As you see, I'm really not being precise. I am just sort of getting the colour down and just blending it ever so slightly. Um, there's a leaf there as well. 
that I've just added some colour to and one there okay so yeah so I'm just going to keep going around adding in this gorgeous colour because actually I think this colour is lovely um, so I've completely <laughs> bypassed from the colours we were using but I just think they work lovely together like the greens that I've chose um, and this has given me the depth that um, that I need so this is a water brush that I am using so it has water already and actually it needs um, it needs refilling so I will have to do that actually um, shall we? let's bring in another one so and again I'm just gonna sort of go around and then spread that colour out like so and just make sure that yeah oh, it's really relaxing as well um, water colouring even if you've never done it before it is very very relaxing so it's um, I think because there's, I don't think there's many rules within water colouring well I don't think there's any rules in any sort of um, you know crafting that you do or even art I think you know it's your interpretation of what you want to do with it um, I mean personally I'm loving that you can get colour down really nicely um, using watercolour and it's, it is a quick way of colouring as, as well so if you haven't got loads of time it's definitely really good for that so just going to bring in like so and then I'm going to bring in the, the lighter colour but I mean how nice is that we've just put a bit of colour on and then we're just blending it out Okay, so I'm going to go with the lighter shade. So, and let's do the lighter shade. Okay, I'm going to bring some more of that darker one in as well. Oh, I love, I love it. Um, I just want to bring some of this lighter shade into a couple of them down here, just so that the colours are sort of blending together quite nicely. So it's just adding it in so all sort of matches in together and then just again you can see no particular skill at all to this we're just putting the colour on and then we're swirling it around um, I think this one and then I think we're done with this colour and I'm going to bring in the darker one only because I think it's my favourite one and it just looks beautiful so just adding little bits of colour in and then coming in with my water and then just going all the way around like so so we've got those different tones and then I've just got this one um, I've got a few green areas that we do need to do which I knew I would I did say <laughs> but yeah Oh, isn't that just gorgeous? Right, I'm just. I want some of this. That's. Oh, do you know what I thought? What else we could maybe do? We could actually just pop some splatters on. Because I think that'll be nice. Yeah. I mean, we're cutting this down, but who doesn't love splatters <laughs> I love I love I love I love right okay we do need to grab some of this green and let's pop it on where we've missed um, there's a couple of areas around here isn't there so I'm just bringing that green all together um, right I think bit there yeah uh, there's a little bit there the other thing I'm looking at is we've got all these little buds as well so what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to come in with my pen itself um, and we're ju I'm just going to 
uh, color them in because it's just like a tiny tiny little bit um, so and it's not they're normally a lot darker that's just hit some water but that is fine um, I think that's it so that is our panel how gorgeous is that right I'm just gonna wipe up my um, desk feel like I'm all thing fingers and thumbs today um, yeah I don't, you know when you just sort of you don't feel like you're quite functioning very well like right feels like a bit like that today so I'm quite glad the magazine came because it's sort of um, yeah it's given me I don't know how long have we been on 40 minutes wow that has gone so quick it's given me 40 minutes of happiness so I'm quite pleased with that right okay so now I need a sentiment so I think we're gonna have um oh I don't know um either beautiful or fabulous I think fabulous is what I'm going to go with okay and um, again I'm just going to use my my mat I need to clean those stamps off but I'll do that in a little while right <coughs> um, we do need to cut this down but I need to quickly dry it off so I'm thinking as well that what I might do is mat it so let's quickly dry it so make sure everything's nice and dry right yep the other thing I'm thinking of I might add some glitter to it as well I think that would be nice Right, okay, we're going to cut this down. So I'm going to cut it down to um, five and a quarter or five. Yeah, five by, um, oh, I'm not sure yet. Let's have a look. So this is getting cut down to, oh, five by five and a quarter I think so let me grab a card base because I'm going to cut this down to um to six so it's going to be six by five and a quarter right uh, so five and three quarters that's what we're going to do so let's have a look see how that looks and that is looking gorgeous we do need to put some paper underneath so let me grab I'm thinking pink so let me grab my pink cardstock out and let's see what we have um we want like a nice dark pink don't we um although that one seems quite nice I think all of most it's all at the bottom all the, the darker stuff Ooh, that one I think would be perfect so let's go with that okay so I'm just gonna put this back okay and then I'm gonna cut this down to five and a quarter by five and a half so five and a quarter by five and a half and that should give us um, one eighth of an inch all the way around and it's just to help it pop um, so yeah I like that and then what we're gonna what I'm gonna do let's just move them on there a second I'm just gonna grab my sentiment I'm gonna grab my stays on again um, and I'm going to um, stamp my sentiment on here Okay. Oh, I like that. Okay, so that is fine. And then what I want to do that way, um, move that over there because, like I said, they're going to need um, 
oh what's the word clean them before I pop them away because they're really really uh, caked up with ink so I'm going to just cut that and then I'm going to cut it across so I'm going to do this um, so it's going to be an inch wide yeah I like that I'm going to turn it into a banner I think so let me so it's one inch by three inches so that's what we're going to do um, and then I'm going to do this um, so three and a quarter inches by one and a quarter inches and that will give me my matted layer for that bit as well right oh, oh do you know I love this card this is not what I was expecting to achieve when um yeah when I started out but I have to admit I'm loving it so um making sure that I've got this so I'm just I'm using my art glitter glue and I'm just going to pop some glue all over my matted layer and making sure we've got it definitely got it the right way I'm just going to stick that on I think I'm going to make this a top folding card as well um so I'm going to yeah oh that is lovely right and then we're going to just stick this down making sure to put plenty of glue on and again should have one eighth of an inch all the way around so we're going to stick that on so there's our card how beautiful is that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into a banner I'm hoping it looks all right and I haven't ruined it but yeah we can only see and then I'm going to glue this down on there like so and I'm just going to cut this so it should should in theory line up and it does and then I'm going to have just a fabulous there but I am going to have the fabulous um, arisen but before we do what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put some glue around some areas because I'm wanting to add some glitter um, yeah I just think a hint of glitter is just going to really help make this pop really really nicely um, so that's what I'm going to do so okay and then we've got little areas okay so I don't want like to do loads I'm going to be using some clear iridescent glitter from um, Tonic Studios so that's what I am going to use But I just think sometimes a little bit of glitter can go a long, long way. I think I may be overdoing it though, which wasn't my intention, but yeah. Okay. And just add, like I said, just adding little bits here, there, and everywhere. I'm not being very precise. Basically, I'm going how I did with. Um, Oh, what do you call it with the um, with the watercolour paints sorry I know I've gone really quiet but I'm trying my hardest to concentrate okay just going to add just little bits right okay so that is that right I have this glitter so this glitter is called I do have the empty bottle um, I still haven't got rid of it it's actually called um, glitter diamond and it's just in a glitter spray bottle so I'm just going to spray um, glitter all over and this is a really good bottle because it actually doesn't you don't overuse the amount of glitter okay so um where's my big brush i have to be careful with that word because um i did a live and it came out wrong 
and I ended up in hysterics. Oh, look at that. So, I don't know if you can see. I mean, you can obviously see the glue, but it's a tiny, tiny amount of glitter on there. So, I'm really pleased with that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some cardboard. So, I have some here. And we are going to raise this up. Um, okay. Oh, I love it. I think those splashes really do help make it pop, don't they? Um, so I'm just going to pop glue all the way around. And we're going to just pop this fabulous just there, like so. And then in here I do have some pink gems. So let's uh, grab a couple of them. Because I'm thinking we could do with... Um, on just there. Um, now, where have I popped my my little tool? It's actually um, broken as well. I need to buy a new one. I will get round to it. Oh, I can't find it. It was here because I was using it. Um, but before I came on and did my um, <laughs> yeah my uh, this video. I was actually having a play and I was doing some, um, oh, what do you call it? Um, can't think of the word. Come on. Um, die cutting. That's it. Oh, honestly, it really is one of those days today. I am so sorry. You're probably all so fed up with me with this video now because I keep forgetting words and, yeah, what I'm trying to do. Right, okay. Oh, there we go. Right, I'm going to leave it at that because obviously we're not we're not doing great. <laughs> but that is my card. How beautiful. Oh, I cannot. Yeah, just, it is fabulous. So even if I do say so myself. So thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. Sorry about the lights. I was meant to actually bring out my new um, mat, but I forgot. Um, so I have made this card using the gifts from um, this month's, well, July's 2021 issue 360 Crafts Beautiful and I just think it's turned out absolutely amazing. I hope it's given you some ideas and inspiration. Um, yeah, masks are definitely, definitely a really, really useful thing to have. So um, yeah, um, I hope you do give it a try. If you do and you would like to show me, do come over to my Facebook group. Um, you can share all your mix there. It would be lovely to have you with us. Um, yeah, and I will see you in another video very soon. But until then, please do take care everyone and happy crafting. Bye.